it doesn't apply to this god. We revere and honor your holy name. A wondrous ruler, hear my cries, for it's in your name I Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my beautiful wife, Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season one, episode two of Solo Leveling, If I Had One More Chance. Last episode, we left off with this raiding group of hunters trapped in a room after the door swung shut. One person got chopped in half by a statue and a lot of them got incinerated by the gaze of the biggest stone statue. What are your thoughts before we jump into this episode? Yeah, the statues were a significantly bigger deal than they seemed to be before they walked into that room. Yeah, um, they uh, definitely present a huge a threat. a bit of a miscalculation there. Yeah. Yeah, I have literally no idea what, <laughs> what are they going to do. Yeah, classic second episode uh, <laughs> scenario to be in. But uh, if you're excited for more episodes of Solo Leveling, make sure to like, comment, subscribe down below for episodes coming every Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms, along with episodes of Invincible, Jujutsu Kaisen, My Hero Academia, and Demon Slayer. All right, are we excited for episode two of Solo Leveling? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Underheads, this video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. What is that thing? Pretty terrifying. That is very scary. Let's just die. Does it only care about powerful people? Piles of ash right now. If it weren't for you, kid, me, you tell them all to get down. Out, mm -hmm. right? No, sir. It was because I sent something dangerous. <gasps> Mr. Song, your arm. Huh. If I grit my teeth, it isn't all that bad. Look, could you stop the bleeding for me? <laughs> Maybe a tourniquet? A healer to patch me up. Ours speaks easily, though. That's why she only does bottom rung raids despite being a B-rank hunter. I've raided B-rank dungeons and lived to tell the tale a couple of times myself. Something that insta-kills has to be an A-rank, if not Insta-kills. Those three commandments of- So A or S. Mm -hmm. there for fun. First, thou shalt worship God. Second, thou shalt praise God. Third, thou shalt prove thy faith. Did you hear? Mm -hmm. These are the rules that are listed. Mm -hmm. When the first gate of it gave rise to a number of supernatural phenomena, the likes of which humanity could only fathom in their wildest dreams. Those who awakened as hunters are a prime example of one such wonder. They used their enhanced abilities to conquer the beasts lurking in the dungeons beyond the gates. Though their power is static from the moment it sparks to life, to call a hunter courageous would be an understatement. For the terrors they find don't merely strike fear in their hearts, but can leave them in utter despair. Here's the intro. How does this relate to what we just, the intro, or when we were just talking and you said it? Oh, I, we always say, let's get it, let's go, so. And they say that. Keep that in mind. Gotcha. They said, let's get it. Okay, nice. That's what we say. Okay, love that. What is the general consensus on the animation on this show? It's amazing. I don't know. I guess more like what sets it apart from other shows, not what makes it better than other shows, but just like what specifically about it is so cool. I think the colors are really awesome. Yeah, um, colors are great. I think I think with most animation, the thing that makes it great is fluidity mm -hmm. because that's hard to achieve with a drawing a picture yeah so i think this anime's combat is really well you'll see it's just i don't want to give much away mm -hmm. but it's just very fluid just very well animated like a lot like chris didn't love the art style of the show i like the art style yeah that's what i was gonna say like stylistically speaking it's very cool like but, but i the don't thing know is, exactly what about it art style isn't animation 
art style is what the characters look like, like just their face okay, shapes. Okay, okay, versus okay. Versus animation is how they move. Okay, gotcha. And That's, the animation. Okay. I was talking about art style. Yeah, art style is cool with mm -hmm. uh, the coloring and stuff. Like I, I like it, but the animation itself, like everybody was worried about this anime coming out because they were like, oh my god, there's so many things that require good animation. Like how are they gonna do it? And I think they delivered. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Keep watching. Love when that happens. Like they said, let's get it at the end. Like nice. It's just it's funny. Very cool. Very on brand. Cutting it real close. You want to share what almost made you late? Yeah, no. Hmm. <laughs> hey, your brother awakened as a hunter, right, you know? He did. The powers he got only scored him an E rank, though. So he does tend to come home with more wounds than treasure. Looked like a regular mummy the other day. <laughs> but why randomly ask about that? No reason. If I was a hunter, I'd make E rank look good. It's too strong. To so, what does that mean? So that's her, his sister, by the way. Okay, yeah, I the one that was like the... my brother's E rank. Right. Yeah, because she he, remember he's doing this to pay for her college and yeah. his mom's medical bills. It's too mm -hmm. strong to fight. Meaning our objective now is to escape. Let's collect I'm ourselves. I'm not dying here. No, I just landed a contract with a major guild. Got so oh, much no. going for me to bite it in this crap hole. If that's true, then don't move. I can do this. Speed's my specialty. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, oh. Yikes. Damn it! That thing can end us the second it feels like it. Yeah, we're basically bugs waiting to be vaporized. Do you have any idea why it hasn't zapped us all yet? No. So it could kill us, but it's not. What's weirder is any other magic beast would attack on sight. <sighs> the writing! What the first commandment say again? The very first one was, Thou shalt worship God. <sighs> God. This place has its own rules. What the heck are you doing? Testing a theory. Sit down or That's brave. You are done. That isn't the look of a man who's given up yet. We need to bow our heads toward the giant statue on the throne. Will that actually do something? It only attacks if you're above a certain height. We have to bow down and worship God like the commandment says. All right. This is your plan to get us out of here? Yes, for now. And then army crawl? Yes, it's worth a shot. <clears throat> a little courtesy? That's what's going to save us? Damn, hate it. That's known for being really unsettling. I really don't like that. Um, Sheik, why are you standing? Creepy. This dude's about to get you see? vaporized. Okay. It worked. <laughs> so that really was all it took. No more lasers. No, oh, it's smiling oh. all creepily. No, not quite. <laughs> nah. What's next? Does your plan have a second phase? Well, not really, no. But if we the next one was praising, side, so right. the next just be to praise God. glaze the statue. I might have the answer. Next step should be to please God. As a dedicated student of oh. ecology, I have a few extolments for God's tempt away in the back of my mind. Almighty Lord, praise be to you who brings order to the world. And I can't tell yeah, you praise. Why not. Like it's slowing down, so maybe? Show us the righteous path of truth. That prayer. Wait. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I will be done, O oh Lord, for only you know the way. No, it doesn't apply to this God. We revere and honor your holy name. A wondrous ruler, hear my cries, for it's in your name I... Feels like Attack on Titan a little bit. Shit, let's move. Why didn't that work? 
said that that prayer doesn't apply to this god. This is shitty. Okay. Are you absolutely certain about that? Praise God. Praise God. What is there to praise about that thing? It's more demonic than divine. Whatever I do, I'm not leaving Juhi by herself. What's the hint here? Spear. It's all a dream. I'll wake up any minute. Ah! Hammer. Sword. Trumpet. Trumpet. That's it. Yeah, I got it. Everyone, quick! Run to the statues holding musical instruments! What do you know? Kid was right again. Hey! Okay. Gotta go to the statues, with, to the statues with the instruments. So Per statue. Stay here. You'll be fine. What about you? So close. Did he roll again? Oh. Well, he certainly has a lot of practice at this. <laughs> Just running away. And being really injured while doing it. Yep. Oh, jeez. I feel like singing praises myself. Gino, are you okay? Dude. Barely, but at least <laughs> I'm alive. The Titan did go to sit down, like the giant the <laughs> thing. out if you don't stop I'm going to heal you so just shut up and let me do it by the way I don't know if you oh, caught no, it oh, she's no. B rank yeah in the rest so of she's them. really good yeah she just doesn't go on higher level raids right no kidding which seems smart yeah she's I just terrified too, fair since you let us here nice call <laughs> That's awful. Damn. Something that's really interesting about the like power scaling and system in this universe is it's like a bell curve in terms of how helpful your power level is depending on how powerful your opponent is. Because if you're fighting B, A rank people, then it's like very important that you have B, A rank people on the other side. And if you have people who are like E or whatever, that's going to make a pretty significant difference. What's going to make but a difference? The, the disparity between E and a, the uh, enemies being A or B? Yes. Gotcha. But once the enemies get powerful enough, then the difference in power doesn't really matter. Like once the hunters get to a point where they're fighting an entity that is more powerful than the highest rank person in the group, then the rankings kind of stop mattering so much because it's about things other than the ranking at that point. Wouldn't it be about the higher ranking enemy? I meant more in terms of people fighting an enemy. Like, okay, if you and I are in a group and we're fighting a like normal enemy, if you're high rank and I'm low rank, that's gonna make a big difference compared to if we were both high rank. Once that enemy gets to a certain threshold of power, it's not going to make a difference if I'm low power and you're high power versus if we're both high power because yeah. it so exceeds it. And then it becomes about everything 
other than powers like ability yeah that's a super interesting detail which is why like everyone was like looking to him as soon as everything went to shit which is crazy because he, he was the one who actually came up with the strategy yeah, yeah because he's the only one who's ever had to rely on anything other than that yeah very important detail chick is right i'm the leader and i had the final say i'm the one to blame for everything it's no yep. time to point fingers there's <laughs> one more trial left <laughs> What's happening now? Earthquake! What the hell is that? An altar. Huh? You know, like the kind in ancient mythology. For offerings to the gods they pray to. Proving our faith is the last commandment. He's the only person who's ever read a book. This god likes blood, so it's fair to assume that it wants a sacrifice. <gasps> Bum Sheik had a family. Bragged about it all day. Then I watched him get cut in half. He and six others died. If you really feel responsible for their deaths, prove it to us and God, leader. No, oh, Mr. You Kim, You stay that's... out of this! All right. Lower your sword and I'll go. He should have showed her all the blame. Huh. He voted as a group to risk coming here. So is the ritual beginning? Hmm. Hey kid, what do you think? Am I supposed to do something with this flame? They're I'm asking him. Sure, mm hmm Maybe a sacrifice. Again. Is key. <laughs> hey, if you wouldn't mind, could you two carry me? I want to check something. <laughs> Just get me right next to the altar, okay? But won't we all die? Hypothetically, we shouldn't. Oh, okay, perfect. Are his shoes different? No. Okay. Do you see what happened though? Check out what happens when the three of them stepped in. Oh, they need two more people to light the rest of the circle. Oh, sorry, not quite. If we wait here, is anyone likely to come rescue us? Today marks the seventh day this gate's been open. Those statues will mobilize again before a rescue team does. It takes a week for a gate to open all the way. And then, the beasts inside can cross over. A dungeon break. So if you don't... Raids, yeah. Besides scavenging, is to beat the dungeon boss and shut the gate down before time's up. So, if the six of us fail... They're gonna get stuck. We'll be let loose into the world. Oh no, like, oh, that's way worse. Do you get what that means? Yes, 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 yes. Essentially, gate only goes one way. After a week, it goes both ways. Mm -hmm. Hey mom, it's your favorite daughter. Only hot gossip I have to spill is that Songy was almost late. Said it was because of stuff. <laughs> Bet she just slept in. I've also got a national test update. You're gonna have to get near the altar too. We probably need a flame to light up for each of us. If anything happens, it'll be after that. The door's opened. So we can leave? That's bait if I ever saw it. Wow. That doesn't sound good. Look, no, it really doesn't. Do Open the door, but want. send the statues. Yep. Wait, Juhi, don't close your eyes. Well, they'll keep coming. <clears throat> See, look, just like that old kid's game. So, all eyes on the statues. <sighs> oh, no. Kid. Oh, what's going on? The door's closed a little, but I think she made it out. The blue flames have been slowly dying out one by one, and the red flames go up when we leave the circle. Think. First, we had to worship. Second, we had to praise. Then now, we prove our faith. The open doors are our trap, offering false hope in the wake of terror. Maybe we prove our faith by resisting the temptation to run. Okay. I tried, but I can't. Don't 
So two people made it out? Mm hmm. Don't you dare move! The circle will have blind spots if we lose our fourth! We'll escape too if we keep our eyes on the statues and stay put. The blue flames are a timer. When they're gone, we can walk right out of here. There's also a chance. <laughs> How do you know that for sure? We'll be trapped inside this room till we die. I never expected the weakest hunter of all mankind to be the difference between us living or dying. But I can honestly say that I've never been happier to stand corrected. With that said, I've got a family that needs me. So dying in here just isn't an option. I want to make it home alive. I'm way past my limit. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're sorry? Not yet. We have to survive this. Somehow. I always pull through every So he left. Mm-hmm. Just three of them. You two go while you still can. Mr. Song, we'll stay behind. As long as one of us waits in here, the door should remain open. You both have so much life left ahead of you. Go and live it. So Juhi, can you carry him out? Sure. No, 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 no! I'm sorry. My legs just gave out on me. You go. Take Juhi and leave. What? Did you even listen to anything I you said? You think I can carry her with half a leg missing? We're wasting time. Just go. That makes me the useless one. So I'll keep the doors open. I guess I promised to take you out to eat now, didn't I? You can use this to buy yourself <laughs> dinner. Once I make my grand escape, I'll come collect the change. How are you cracking jokes right now? What? He knocked her out. Oh. Proper goodbye, but we really are out of time. Please take good care of her. I will. So, he's leaving with her. I'm glad my death means they can live. My one regret, though, is that I didn't enroll in a juicier life insurance package. <laughs> Maybe this is like the ultimate trust, though. I'll take at least one of you Goliaths down with me. Let's see what you've got. What if they upgrade his power? I've always been the weakest, and I've been mocked for it at every turn. But I still try as hard as I can. This. Shit. Shit. Jeez. This is bullshit. Bullshit. I wanted to be stronger. I tried, but I never could. I get it. I fought tooth and nail to earn my keep, and I got this far. But you were past your limit. Huh? Yeah, we all felt that way. You were making excuses for your own selfishness! That gratitude was as empty as my wallet, leaving to a genuine piece of trash to use me and throw me away for his benefit! I've got a family too! I wanted to make it home alive too! I'm glad my death means they can live. Jesus Christ. Right on the like sacrifice spot. No. I don't wanna die. Is the timer close? Oh. I had another chance. What? A quest. You have qu acquired the qualifications to be a player. Will you accept? A player, not a hunter. Your heart will stop at point zero two seconds if you choose not to accept. Will you accept? Uh, fucking duh. Oh, wow. And that is where we are left for episode two of Solo Level. No, okay. I'm invested. That's a very <laughs> cool premise. I wish I had another chance. Oh, he wished right before. Maybe that's... Okay. A hospital? This, oh, I love that! This is sort of what isekais are in a way. Interesting. Okay. 
but typically in an isekai you get transported to another world and then you start like getting stronger okay. in that world this is different because the world comes to the earth in a way right um but anyway what are your thoughts before we jump into wow, our discussion that is so cool i mean i i want to know more about the logistics of how like does time in the game pass just as fast in the real world are people going to know they're just going to assume he died i guess i I mean, I'm like, I'm buffering yeah, a little. Um, only one way to find out, yeah. and that would be in our next episode of Solo Leveling. Uh, but first, let's watch this outro. It's a pretty Beautiful. cool outro. Oh, yeah. The blue and red together is doing something. That's the next episode. It's like a game. Very cool. Anyways. All right. Uh, Thank you for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for more episodes of Solo Leveling coming every Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon in their extended full-length forms. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions that we answer after every episode of any show we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. All right, question one from Ren. The pop-up screen at the end says, both you have acquired the qualifications to be a player and your heart will stop in 0.02 seconds if you do not accept. What do you think the qualifications of being a player are and what are, the, what are your predictions on what it means to be a player? Also, we know the yes option was chosen. Considering you only had 0 0.02 seconds to decide, do you think this was a conscious decision on Jinnu's part or was it more instinctual? Okay, I'm not certain if the like qualifications component is specific to the like giant statue circle situation or if it's a much larger scale type thing. My guess would be that the qualifications have to do with the fact that he followed all of those rules and was like the bravest because he was the last one standing or last one who didn't evacuate or he like was sacrificing himself like he was willing to die so that other people could live. I hadn't realized that the 0 0.02 seconds thing was how long he had to decide. I thought it was that's it like that's how long until you're going to die if there is no intervention. Like you're about to die and then it's you basically can... your heart will stop in 0 0.02 seconds if you don't accept this. Gotcha. Okay. I did not ascertain that. Yeah, so you, um, yeah, so <laughs> um Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever going to be like, "Yeah, my, let's just be done." Yeah, everyone's gonna pick yes, so that I don't feel I don't think that's a conscious. Yeah, so choice. you answered the qualifications and the heart question, but what do you think it means to be a player? Yeah, I have literally no idea. Part of me thought that it meant you got to be one of the statues. Um, <laughs> that's the end. He's just a statue. <laughs> yeah, like all right, now you get to play mean pranks on other people. Um, yeah, this is a prank. That's what this is. Prank show, everyone. I also am wondering if it has something to do with like i don't know like a squid game or hunger games type situation where you're put through a series of challenges and if you make it to the end maybe you can level up your power because i know they've said like several times there's no way to level up your power i think that's a red herring i think they're specifically saying that so that it's like like there's no way to level up your power in that world but if you are like a good enough person or end up in the right situation, then you have the opportunity to compete to improve your skill in a way that you couldn't in the original world. That's a great guess. Let's go to our second question. Question two, uh, David Bodor asks, what do you think was the point of a room like this? Why are these monsters not attacking immediately? Uh, yeah, very strange because it seems like kind of sadistic because there are so many, like those are such strange rules. And to have someone in like a fight to the death or like game for your life type situation and not explain the rules, like that's just, you're just mean. And to not, and have the power to kill all them and not do it immediately. Exactly, no, it's it seems much more like a cat and mouse, like entertainment 
type situation rather than like we're defending something special. Or maybe it's like a setup where they're in a position where they're technically guarding something in the sense of like you have to go through them to get to the thing, but they're not guarding it in the sense that from the statue's perspective, their goal is to protect something. They're just like playing their game, I guess. Cause that was so weird. And yeah. then the musical instruments, like it just, it really seemed like, you know what it seemed like was like an escape room where it, there's all this random like, ooh, I wonder if you're gonna notice this, where there's some like crazy person in the corner with a camera who's like, oh, did they notice this thing dropped in the corner? Like, which is fun in an escape room, but if you die, um, then it's, you know, a different situation. But then I don't know if I'm like conflating it and making it a game type thing because they said there was a game thing afterwards. Those two things aren't necessarily related. I don't know, because maybe it's a thing where just like in this universe, if you die in general, that happens to you. Like it's not specific to the situation, but I feel like it is. Well, guess we'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Let's go to our final question. So true, babe. Yeah. Final question. Day asks, how do you feel about the psychological effects this double dungeon has had on the hunters? Can you blame the ones who didn't stay and ra instead ran away to save their own skin, leaving the others behind? Like, n no. When it's like a survival situation, it's hard to hold people accountable for, like, self-preservation type Like, selfish thing. decisions. Exactly, like exactly. Especially, especially when it's, like, work-related. You know, it would be one thing if you were, like, in there with your family. But the fact that their family's on the outside and they're, like, the providers, I can understand the thought process of, like, you know, it was like, sorry to all these people who came down with me, but like, I literally don't know you and I need to get out for my children. And then the other thing is no one had any way of knowing that the whole like, oh, once the blue lights go out, then we're allowed to leave, no problem. Like there was nothing to suggest that that was the situation. You know, I can see how it would be very frustrating from his point of view because he's like, everyone stay, just like everyone stay and nothing bad will happen. Um, After getting all the other things right. And then exactly, like, oh, right, yeah, it is. exactly. So, you know, if, if you feel confident in your decisions and you're pretty sure and there are no other options, then you absolutely have reason to tell everyone else. But I don't think that the people who didn't listen were like fucked up for not believing him in that instant. Yeah, um, it definitely sucks for him to be on the other end of that. Yes, it really, really does. But uh, we'll see what ends up happening with him uh, and what's going to happen this next episode. It's like a game. But for now, that's where we're left for episode two of Solo Leveling. Are we excited for episode three? Can't wait. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go.